Hi guys, I am Yogita Khandelwal and in this lesson, we will deal with human male reproductive system with the basic introduction. For more lessons on biology, follow me on Unacademy and here is the link for the same. So before moving to human male reproductive system, let's consider the sequence of reproductive events in humans, which is extremely important. First is gametogenesis. Now gametogenesis, gamete, gameto for gamete and genesis for formation. So formation of gametes and in humans we have male gamete as sperm and female gamete as ovum. So gametogenesis refers to formation of sperm and ovum. Then insemination. Second step is insemination that is transfer of sperm in female genital tract and this can be done by two process it can be natural or second it can be artificial artificial is done in case of art that is associated reproductive technology next is fertilization that is fusion of male and female gamete or sperm and ovum then after fertilization we have formation of zygote then uh, then zy uh, formation of zygote occurs in ampulla of oviduct then there is implantation that is formation development of blastocyst and its attachment to the uterine wall so after fertilization and formation there is implantation of the uh, developing zygote or embryo then there is gestation that is embryonic development that lasts to uh, nine months in case of humans and then we have parturition that is delivery of baby and placenta so now the male reproductive system it is located in pelvic region that uh, the pelvis region and pelvis is the region that have the pelvic bone now uh, we have primary sex organ that is testis that is located extra ab abdominally then we have secondary sex organs first is supporting structure that is scrotum and penis then we have sperm conducting duct which includes reti testes, vasi frenchia, epididymis and vas deferens. Then we have accessory reproductive gland that is seminal vesicle, prostate gland and bulbourethral gland. So all these in are the uh, sex organs of male reproductive system. So this is the picture or transfer section of male reproductive system. Now see uh, this is the sigmoid column and this is the rectum and then this is the bladder, urinary bladder and the structure here it is coming from urethra and this is the urethral opening. Now of the male reproductive system, see this is the testis in the scrotum, then we have epididymis here, then vas deferens, this one is vas deferens and then here is the seminal vesicle which is an accessory gland so uh, this uh, vas deferens and the duct of seminal vesicles forms the ejaculatory duct this one is prostate gland now after prostate gland this is cowper's gland or bulbo urethral gland then this is the uh, penis this one is penis this is glans penis here we have foreskin then we have corpus cavernosum which we will deal uh, study later and so uh, just this was a brief about the male reproductive system this is the ventral portion and this is the dorsal portion so just remember this is the ts of the male reproductive system testis which is primary sex organ uh, now testis <coughs> is the male gonad uh, and like the ovaries to which they are homo homologous they are the components of both reproductive system and the endocrine system their main function is to produce sperm by spermatogenesis and to produce androgens primarily testosterone so as we know these are extra abdominal in adults but in fetal stage these testes are located in abdominal cavity. So firstly in fetal stages it is located in abdominal cavity but in adults it, in, uh, it is 
located extra abdominally so it has to descend so it descend in scrotum through inguinal canal in seventh fetal month so this descent start from second fe uh, second fetal month and it finally descends at seventh fetal month under regulation of testosterone so under the influence of hormone testosterone testes along with its blood vessels nerves and all the structures it descend in scrotum in seventh fetal month now why this is happening why uh, the testes has to descend because scrotum helps in maintaining 2 to 2.5 degree celsius temperature lower than the normal body temperature now a uh, scrotum has 2 to 2.5 degree celsius lower temperature than a normal body temperature which is uh, necessary for spermatogenesis that is formation of sperm which is the primary function of testes so because for spermatogenesis it is very cu crucial for the testes to descend now in adult testes are pinkish and oval in shape 4 to 5 cm in length and 2 to 3 cm in width so remember testes descend in seventh fetal fetal month under the influence of testosterone and its significance now see uh, this is the testes testicle testicle is singular and testes t e s t e s is plural for two so this is testes this is uh, see this is epididymis they here we have crema there are two muscle cremaster muscles and these are deltoid muscles and this is this one is penis and this is spermatic cord this is epididymis so this is the structure of scrotum now see here is the testicle and this structure by which it is held is gubernaculum this is the transfer section of penis this is tunica albuginea the outer covering here is the blood vessels and here is the urethra then this is the scrotal septa dividing the two scrotal sac this is the scrotal skin which have pubic hair see this is pubic hairs then we have two muscle deltoid muscles and cremaster muscles then uh, this is epididymis then this is vas deferens that is covered by spermatic cord here and this is the inguinal ring so that's all for this lesson we will continue with testes in our next lesson thanks for watching